penetrator here. We're off to a block drain. That's right, we've got a block sewer to go to. Before I get into the finer details, it is extremely hot at the moment. I'm either getting old and struggling with the heat or it's just very hot. Since like I left the house at seven o'clock this morning or earlier, it, it was just crazy. Talking about the heat, good opportunity to remind myself to have some water. Ah, block sewer. So chatting to the customer about their drain and the, they had someone out. Uh, well, they originally called me a few months ago and I couldn't get there, I was too busy. And um, so they called another plumber. He went out there and cleared the drain, used a jetter, cleared the drain. A few months later, now it's all blocked up again. Interesting, I know. I wonder what type of job he did. So, your drain shouldn't block up after three months. Your drain shouldn't block after, up after three months if it's just tree roots or fat or anything like that, if, it, if it's done properly. So if it was a few months ago, it'd be interesting to see the condition of the drain. And that will kind of tell me the standard of work those plumbers work to. I like to know. I think I do a reasonably high standard of work and, and I, I pride myself on that. So it's always interesting to, to see what type of work other blokes are doing out there. So we'll go check that out, see what's going on, hopefully get it sorted for her and get her drain all flowing. Right up, I'll see you when I get there. Got a block sewer, temporary access, cut there already. There's the cover, I've popped it off. Down here, you can just see uh, it's full of crap and that down there. Oh, yeah. And it's been overflowing. Oh, Lord. Down here, you can see all the toilet paper. So downstream from this point, I think it goes down here and around the corner hangs a right. Yeah. Uh, there's a blockage down there. Oh, so Lord. let's go fire up the jetter. I'm oh, just talking to the camera. Oh, are you? Yeah, you're all right. <laughs> Having a chat to the camera. Now we'll go fire up this, this jetter and get this all sorted for them. Okay. I've seen a big lizard come through here just before. <laughs> I'd like to see it again if it decides to come back. <laughs> yeah, Lizzie the lizard. Maybe that's Lizzie's food just over here. There's three of them. Apparently there's three of these lizards that live through here. Yeah, on top of you. Oh wow. <laughs> Pet lizards. <laughs> okay. Let's go get this jetter fired up. Interesting. Pet lizards. Wow. big enough for this sleeve. Oh, they should have cut a bigger hole. Yeah. Might be okay. What's that the big hose? That's to protect the green hose. Oh, I see. So when it rubs up against the metal, I don't cut it. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
they didn't cut a big hole there for it to fit no. through, so I might not. Might have to cut it bigger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hydrojet, yeah. Yeah, hydrojet. Yeah. I didn't know you'd use them. I thought they still be the old chain ones. Yeah, the old eel. Yeah, the eel. That's yeah. Uh, we, you, generally, you, we're, you're going to use a jet more often these days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they do a good job? Yes, yeah. If you can run a camera down and check everything, you can generally do a good job. Yeah. yeah. But you can't guarantee how long it'll take for the roots to grow back. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're on it. Yep. Drop. We're dropping. Let the nozzle do its thing for a bit. Yeah. And there's the gurgle. Yeah, that's it all sorting itself out. I'll drop this down this gully then there's another gully up there yep. just to flush them out and then I'll put the camera down the main line
See all the stuff that's come up out of that drain, all that toilet paper. So all that's sitting in the gully and we need to just flush it through. Look at it. Put it all back where it came from. You can see all the sewer flies hanging around. Little buggers, they're everywhere. Look at them. Sewer flies. Yeah. Normal flies. <laughs> <laughs> Blop jet. Sorry? So I couldn't um I couldn't get sorry I'm just gonna I couldn't get uh far down with the camera. I was just trying to work out how far I gotta go. Oh, so and I can't see anything. Um because it's full of rubbish. But now that we've it's dropped and I can clean it up, it's clearer. I'll run the camera down and have a look yeah. and see what's going on. See if I can uh -huh. see what needs to be tidied up. Is that camera, is that the thing on the end of the hose? That was the, the thing over in the box over there. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. It's got a bit of stuff in this jet, it needs to be cleared out. Better. 
give this area a bit of a hose down. the camera that's over there down here have a look and see what's going on tree roots Tree roots growing in from the side there, that could just be a change of direction. I'm going to put the root cutter down around 15 metres and tidy up those roots. Mm. We'll get through just. just. There's also roots in this riser, so I've got to get them on the way past. to sewer flies. You can hear all the nature. Lots of lots of animals around here. Just talking to myself. You all right? Your kitchen sink? Is this your kitchen one here? Or is your kitchen one over there? Yeah, fill up your kitchen one and then fill up your basin. 
I've got water in the thing. Yeah, just let it go there, mate. Let the bathtub go. Let it all go. Let it all go. Work. He's draining the sink, so I'm just looking at it. Looks good. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that was the bar. Sorry, not the sink. Through there. See that there? Go back down here, have a look, and see what the drain looks like. It's all good. And let me know when it's full, and I'll tell you when to to let it go. So there's some tree roots just there, growing off the edge of the um inside that pipe. I'm just gonna tidy him up while I'm here. See that? Those roots are gone. You can just see a few little fine ones where they've grown through. So there's a little bunch still sitting on the left there. I've put the uh, single barrel down and I'm just going to use that to tidy that up a bit. And then as I pull it up, there's a pull it back, there's a change of direction. It looks like there's a 45 change of direction and roots could be going growing through the end of that if that's the case. So I want to once I do this, I want to try and line that up with that section and try and tidy those roots up. And that's where those roots were growing through. You can see them on the left. There's more of them sticking out, but as I've gone down, I think I've um, tidied them.
cleaner. I'm going to get that. And I've got the hole because that's where the, the pipe is. Yeah. So th that's where the problem started. You can see a break there. Nice and clean now. Another broken fitting with tree root entry, all nice and clean. Yeah, separation there with three roots. And, and there is the junction where the tree roots were grown through the other side. And that's probably a um, change of direction junction. So there's a cap on the end of that. We've got a temporary cap back on here. Uh, the CCTV shows the drains looking good. Yeah. We gave that gully a flush out, tidy up those roots on the inside of the gully. And then gave that gully a flush out too. Let's go wash up. We didn't see the lizard. Did not see the lizard. I know the lizard was here, but we didn't see it. There's a lot of birds. But no lizard. Maybe next time. He's waiting for me to leave. Lots of birds in this yard. Okay, need some soap. Whoa. Here's some soap I prepared earlier. So good result with that drain. Nice and clean. They will not be calling me back in three months time. If they call me back in three months time to clear their drain, I'll do it for free. Actually six months time, they will not be calling me back. Right off, I'm all done here. I'm happy, customers are happy. See you on the next one. <laughs>